Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. This week's video, we will be making pumpkin lamb curry. So what we've got here, our main ingredients, I've got 800 grams of lamb. Um, and I've also got some pumpkin. I've gonna, I'm gonna use about 1200 grams of pumpkin. I'm gonna use about 600 at one point, another 600 towards the end. Then we've got three finely medium chopped onion. We've got some ginger and garlic, and we've got some tomato. And here we've got cumin, one tablespoon of, um, sorry, teaspoon of cumin. We've got a few cloves, and we've got about two cinnamon sticks. If you have got some bay leaves and cardamom, add three, four cardamoms and two bay leaves. I've actually ran out. What we've got here, we have got our spices I'll be using. We've got one uh, teaspoon of haldi powder one and a half teaspoon of chili powder again this is to taste we've got one teaspoon of coriander one and a half teaspoon of coriander sorry got one teaspoon of cumin and we've got one tablespoon of mixed curry powder and other things we'll be using are standard stuff so salt oil um, ch um, green chilies as well as coriander What you can see here now guys is the onions have starting to soften up so what we're going to do now is add our lamb.
So the lamb's been cooking for just over an hour. Just make sure the lamb is nice and soft. So what I'm gonna do now is add in our spice. And again, remember all our spices, instructions, um, is gonna be in the description box. Keep it on medium to high heat. Look at the colour on that one, it's absolutely amazing. This is going to be a delicious curry. So again, remember when we add in our spice, we're gonna cook the spice for about six to eight minutes to really get the spice infused. So there you get the maximum flavor and do not rush this section. Remember guys, when the spice starts drying out, add a little bit more water and repeat this process for about six to eight minutes. Okay guys, so it's been about six to eight minutes since this has been. I've put the spice in and I've been cooking the spice. So as soon as the water dries out, I add a bit more water, cook the spice out of medium heat, and that's been about six to eight minutes. And again, the reason you want to do this is to really infuse the spice and get the spices out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our pumpkin at the first stage. And to be fair, if you want to miss out the pumpkin and this you can have this as it is as a lamb dish a buna and this is this this will taste absolutely amazing now we're going to go one stage further and we're going to add some pumpkin so the first stage of the pumpkin what we want to do now add the pumpkin in and then this stage pumpkin what's going to happen once we start cooking it we want this to make part of the curry sauce bake so this is all going to get mashed up <clears throat> so again, just leave that on heat. Again, medium heat, we're gonna add some water. Again, also about half a cup. Again, this is hot water. So medium heat, and let's get that nicely bubbling away. Okay guys, so this has been bubbling away for about 10 to 15 minutes now, so let's see what, what it's doing. I'm 
what we're looking to achieve here is for the pumpkin to dissolve. If not, we'll just smash it down. This absolutely smells really nice, guys. And I really love this curry. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, there we go. So the first batch of pumpkin will actually make the sauce. Leave it on the heat for another five minutes. Wow, check this out. So what we're gonna do now is add a few, a bit more, a few more pumpkins. Because when we're serving, we want to showcase some of our pumpkin as well. So these are going to stay whole. So these are big pieces. Feel free to each other, uh, make them into slightly smaller, smaller pieces. There you go, that looks good. So we're going to be serving about seven to eight portions here. So that should be pretty cool. So what we've got here, three, four, six, perfect. So again, with each serving, I'm going to include one big pumpkin piece as well. Okay, guys, apologies for that. So my camera stopped working. So what, what I've actually done is added some whole, about eight pieces of pumpkin in here. Now, this should serve about eight, about eight people, so I'm going to include... So each serving is going to have one large pumpkin piece with it. Now, if you want to cut these into smaller sizes, you can do. But the idea idea here is that with each our serving, you we actually give them then a pumpkin piece as well. So what we're going to do now is add some hot water and get that cooking as well. So as always, if you want more sauce, feel free to add more water. It's gonna cook that for about another 15 minutes on medium to low heat. Okay guys, so this has been cooking for about 15 min minutes or so. Let's check it out. Yeah, these are ready. What we're gonna do now is garnish and simmer for about five minutes. So we're gonna garnish with pineapple of coriander. I've also got about six or seven chili, green chilies. And again, if you don't want, so the green chili will add a nice little flavor to the sweetness, but if you want to, you can miss it out. Wow, this is where they can't wait to get tucked into this one. And just let it simmer for about five minutes, guys. Then we are good to go. Okay, guys, so it's been about five minutes simmering away. That smells absolutely gorgeous. Right, take it to the heat. Wow, check it out. So this has been about hour and a half to about hour 45 minutes. Now because you're cooking lamb, so it probably takes a lot longer. Now, 
just gonna get this plate heat up here. How does that look guys? Does not, not look absolutely delicious. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the recipe. I'm gonna get tucked into this. Before I do that, I'm gonna take a couple of pictures, but I'll see you on the next video. Remember, this was a pumpkin curry with lamb, or pumpkin lamb curry. Enjoy guys, and see you in the next one.